On the side of a California highway, a field of mirrors shimmers like a mirage. These white-hot radiating structures make up the largest solar thermal plant ever built. This actually is uh, one of the highest concentrations of sunlight in the world out here in Ivanpah. Regular household mirrors, called heliostats, track the sun using satellite technology. Boilers atop three towers absorb the reflected heat. That boiler can reach temperatures in excess of 500 degrees Celsius for that steam. Steam, which then drives electric turbines to create energy. This technology is different from the solar cells seen on rooftops because it can even work at night. We can store the sun's thermal energy in the form of molten salt so we can produce electricity even when the sun goes down. There's a lot of interest in concentrating solar power around the globe in environments where you have lots of sun, such as China, South Africa, the uh, Middle East, North Africa. But here in California's vast Mojave Desert, solar isn't the only thing growing. Well, this is the... Um Amaranth, and they're coming right up through this other bush. The Google-backed Ivanpah Solar Project competes with this desert's lush landscape. Bright Source Energy, the company behind it, has already spent more than $50 million to relocate the endangered desert tortoise. Even though the desert seems big, when you start cutting it up and fragmenting it, it can really affect how the species and the animals and the plants both are able to survive in the long run. And while environmentalists generally support the idea of large solar plants, many want habitats like this one to stay intact. We should be reusing areas that have already been disturbed. Um, old mining sites, for example. Either on homes, on businesses, you can, um, parking lots. But BrightSource has already pre-sold energy to parts of Southern California, and they plan to flip the switch at the end of the year.